Hey, Cancer. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your love reading for the first half of August. This will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. Alright, so let's hop in, Cancer. Only take what resonates. There will be an extended reading. I will pin the link to the extended reading in the comments below. So let's see what's going on with you guys and love. If I do resonate, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell. All right, so let's see what's going on with Cancer and love. So when it comes to your person and how they currently feel about you, let's see, Cancer. We have the Five of Wands. Their current intentions. We have the Ten of Pentacles. What do you want, Cancer? We have the Empress. What does your person want? We have the strength card. What brings you guys together? The three of cups. What pulls you guys apart? The four of swords. The current energy around the relationship is the ace of cups. What's hidden? Page of wands. And the potential outcome is the seven of swords. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have the king of pentacles. So it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that you guys are dealing with all right so yes let's see what's going on with you cancer in love all right so it looks as if there's a little bit of like tension and conflict between between you and your person there could be a relationship ending or somebody could have been waiting for a relationship to end but then i also see where It looks like somebody wanted something a little bit more serious than somebody did. So it's like maybe at first, you know, you wanted something serious and then you were like, no, you changed your mind. Or maybe this is how your person felt like they wanted something serious and they changed your mind. Um, but what you are wanting is the empress. So it definitely looks like you are wanting like some type of commitment, something long term. You are wanting to be loved and nurtured, taken care of. I do see that with the Empress. We have Libra, Taurus. We have Leo energy as well. Um, but let's hop in. Let's see what's going on in Cancer with you guys for the first half of August. So we do have the Five of Wands here for their current feelings towards you. So if this is in their current feelings towards you, like I said, there must be some type of tension and conflict between you and your person. Um, or like some blockages in the way, people in the way, blockages. This could be outside influences. Let's see. We have the Page of Pentacles reversed, and we have the Ten of Swords, yeah. So I feel like there's been a lot of tension and conflict between you guys, and I feel like that is what has came up between you guys, just tension, conflict, other people. And then we got this Ten of Swords. I'm getting an energy of like somebody just wasn't thinking or like, like they weren't ready. So somebody, it's like either somebody wasn't thinking or they weren't ready and it hurt the other party. Yeah, it could be a Pisces. But I feel like Cancer, if this is you, like you already know that it hurt them or it's like they know that they hurt you. And I feel like maybe somebody didn't say nothing about it. Because remember the high priestess could be a card of like, you know, somebody like just keep it to themselves. Not really saying much, but they know what's going on in the situation. Like they're aware of what's going on. But like not saying like they're being secretive, but like just keep it to themselves. Like so it's like if you did hurt this person, it's like you know like you hurt them. Maybe you're just not saying nothing, you know, and maybe you feel bad because you're like, dang, I wasn't thinking. Or maybe that's how this person is feeling. We do have the four of cups at the bottom of the deck. So somebody is feeling rejected or was feeling rejected. Um, so let's see the Ten of Pentacles is in their, um, current intention. So let's see why the Ten of Pentacles is in the current intentions for Cancer. We have the Six of Swords in reverse. Hmm. So this is the energy of something not moving forward. Something like it's still, a, it's a stuck energy. We have a Queen of Cups in reverse. This is you, Cancer. And then look, we have this King of Pentacles here again. So it looks like somebody wanted to commit to you, Cancer. And you didn't take them serious. And now they're not sure if they want this anymore. Or it's like they kind of like changed their mind. You know, like they don't want to be stuck on something that they feel is not going to happen. 
that's what this that's how this person is feeling so the ten of pentacles can be like yeah they you know want it with the king of pentacles they want a you know commitment or something you know much more serious with you but they're just like am i setting myself up if you know if i tell cancer like you know that this is what i want like are we gonna move forward like what's gonna happen and it's not even really that i feel like it's just they were really trying to move forward with you before and maybe with the queen of cups in reverse maybe we're going through something or dealing with something and they felt like you just were too caught up or too wrapped up in whatever you had going on and when that four of cups came up like i said somebody felt like rejected or just like put to the side or they felt like you weren't accepting their offer maybe that's how you felt it can be interchangeable okay cancer so let's see we have the empress here this is what you want so the like i said the empress wants to be loved nurtured taken care of you know this is you wanting that commitment for sure we have a three of cups so yeah you're ready to just be happy celebrate move forward um so i just feel like what you want like all together is just like good news celebration being around family friends a person that you want to be with and stuff like that is what I'm getting here with this. But we have the Ace of Pentacles reverse. I feel like Cancer, you know it's going to take some time for this situation to change. Because it's the Ace of Pentacles reverse. So it's like, even though you want this, you're just like, you know, like, it's going to take some time for you guys to rebuild. And, like, fix things or fix whatever, you know, came up between you guys. Because it's the Ace of Pentacles reverse. And... The three of cups will be you just reconnecting. So what you want to do is like, for some of you guys, you want to reconnect with this person. And it's like, as the, with the empress, it's like, you're ready to actually love and nurture and get to this relationship. Something that you weren't before. Yeah. Three of pentacles. And now you want to work it out. You guys have a lot of earth energy around you guys. So definitely could be dealing with an earth sign. All right. Let's go into the strength card. Leo, this is what they want. So let's see why I have the strength card here for cancer's person and what they want. We have the Knight of Pentacles, and we have it with the Ace of Wands. Okay. So, they thought what you guys had was, like, they thought you guys were, like, very, you know, had this, like, this this deep connection, this bond. There was a lot of chemistry. Um, and I feel as if this person still feels this way towards you, Cancer, or about you. But I feel like it's going to take some time with the Knight of Pentacles to bring it all back like it's never left but it's just like the knight of pentacles is saying like they're gonna eventually open up to it but it's just gonna take some time the knight of pentacles also moves very slow they pay attention they cross their t's out their eyes they want to make sure this situation is right or you know they like they're preparing themselves for something more with you but just like taking their time this time around so if you feel like this person is like kind of like standoffish or maybe at times they act like they don't want to be with you it's not that it's just like they're trying to make sure like this is going to really work out whoever this is okay so with the three of cups here far as um what brings you guys together um there is going to be a reconnect so you guys are going to reconnect with each other see each other possibly go out celebrate maybe you guys reconnected um you know like around your birthday season or within the last few months you guys could have reconnected with this person you could have seen them when you were out with friends possibly drinking having a good time with the three of cups shopping eating you know stuff like that and you ran into them we have the seven of pentacles yeah so somebody's been doing a lot of thinking since they reconnected with somebody and that kind of brought you guys back together okay yeah it would be whoever got rejected so whoever got rejected has been just doing a lot of thinking like i said cancer it could be you or it could be the person that you were dealing with but somebody did definitely get rejected all right let's see why is the four of cups here we have the page of cups in reverse, okay? So, Cancer, if if this was you that did this to somebody or whoever it was, it's like you guys are reconnecting or will reconnect or have, but it's like somebody is not really expressing a lot of emotion or saying how they feel or they're not saying a lot because they... I'm not saying they assume, but they kind of like feel like this person is going to like break my heart again or do the same thing to me again. It's the page of cups in reverse. So they look at you as like a heartbreaker. Or you look at them as like a heartbreaker or, you know, somebody that is heartless or, you know, doesn't care about the next person's feelings. That's how they could feel or this is how you could feel. So with the page of cups in reverse, yeah, the chariot, it could be you, Cancer, and we have a fool. But then it's like somebody also feels like, are you? One of you guys are just kind of feeling like, well, dang, like. 
they want to move forward and start this new beginning, but did they think about like how I felt or what they did or how it made me feel? So that's what I feel like is in the back of somebody's mind. Like, okay, we reconnected and I've been wanting this, but do you not know what you did? Like, or do you not remember how you made me feel? It's something like that. Okay. So they're like, okay, before we move forward and start this new beginning, like, this is how I feel or this is how I felt. And then on top of that, they're just doing a lot of thinking. And then when I go back to this energy, it's kind of like, yeah, this is going to take some time. We do have the King of Pentacles overall. So I feel like this is something that can be healed, that can work out, that can move forward. But it's just going to take some time, Cancer, is what I'm getting. Now, what pulls you apart? All these came out. I'm not going to take all of these. Okay, let's see what pulls you apart, Cancer. So we have the um, four swords, so what pulls you apart. This is like separation, needed some time to yourself, somebody needing to heal, retreat. We have the King of Cups and the Chariot with the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody just wasn't ready. Somebody wasn't ready. And that's what pulled you guys apart. Somebody was in love with you or had a lot of love for you or you had a lot of love for them, Cancer, and somebody was definitely ready to move forward. And actually start and build and have something serious with you. The King of Pentacles is on the side waiting. There's this Ten of Pentacles. And that's what, that's what pulled you guys apart. Somebody just was not ready for what the other person was ready for. You know? Um, and it, it just definitely came in between you guys. So with the Ace of Cups here, the energy around the relationship is telling me that there's a lot of love here. There's This can also be like some type of new love offer. So like new love. Um, between you guys like it's still the same person but just it's like somebody's is coming in different the ace of cups can just be that there's just a lot of love in general like you guys care deeply for each other this person cares a lot for you you care a lot for them um this can be somebody finally opening up and just expressing all their emotion and feelings with the ace of cups yeah the ace of swords so somebody wants to do over somebody wants to start over somebody wants to see like okay like if we try it, it this time with all the love between us and how we feel towards each other, like, do you think that we can do this again? Like, so somebody wants to do over. Somebody definitely wants to start over. Somebody wants to talk about it too. Three of Swords is here. So, yeah, somebody is um, acknowledging how they made the other person feel. So, yeah, Cancer, so now it's like you guys are going to talk about it soon. This may not play out before the first half of August, but somebody is definitely going to, you guys are going to talk about it you know, like the three of swords energy, how somebody else felt. Somebody's going to get something off their chest and tell you like how much they really care for you or, or you're going to do it and be like, well, it hurt me because of this, because of that. Yeah, see, there's going to be a lot of communication. So there's going to be a lot of back and forth communication about that. Somebody is definitely coming to see you or coming towards you with the Knight of Wands energy. Let's see why the Page of Wands is here. This is what's hidden. This could just be like, you know, good news, communication. Let's see. We have the full of reverse. We have the eight of swords. Okay. So what's hidden is that somebody doesn't think somebody is going to open up to them and like respond or they don't feel like this person is going to want to talk regardless if it's you or the other person. And somebody is going to decide to come towards you, open up and talk. And Somebody has just a lot on their mind, or maybe both you guys do, and this is going to kind of be a relief for you, Cancer, because this person is finally opening up, or it's going to be a relief to them because you're finally opening up, either or, okay? Um, we do have the Seven of Swords for the potential outcome, so let's see why the Seven of Swords is here for the potential outcome for Cancer. Let's see why the Seven of Swords here. Okay, four of swords, my wands, four of pentacles. So this, I'm not, sh I don't think this is going to happen. I feel like this is more past energy. Somebody either lied and, okay, so let me go back a little bit. With the seven of swords, there was some deception or somebody was, you know, keeping secrets, lying or did something like was moving funny or did something and they were holding back information and that's what pulled you guys apart. Somebody did go towards somebody else. Could have been a fire sign, Aries, or Sag. So somebody did go towards somebody or like possibly get back with somebody or was messing with somebody or still was interested in somebody else. It was something like that. And so the potential outcome is just saying that 
this person could actually, I wouldn't say fear, but what they're holding on to is the fact that it might happen again. Whether it's you or them, they're in their like, they're like, mm, I don't know, this might happen again. So it's just saying that that's why this person probably is in that Knight of Pentacles energy and moving slow. You are them because somebody's really trying to, you know, take their time because they're just like, mm, what if it happens again? What if cancer does this again? Or, you know, or you're just like, oh, what if my person does this again, cancer? So let's see. Go into this interview. Yeah, see, and somebody doesn't want to be used and take advantage of with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and then we have the Eight of Cups. Because they, they're like, okay, you already walked away from me once. You already did this before. So the Seven of Swords is them thinking, like, am I going to get played and used again? Is Cancer going to do this again? Or Cancer, you can be like, am I, are they going to do this to me again? Either way it goes. Like I said, either way. Um, so, again, that's why I feel like they're moving very slow. Okay? Let's pull your Romance Angels. we have finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life so some of you guys could be going through some type of financial situation right now um and that could have been a reason why you you know kind of feel back maybe you were in another situation that you were obligated to or you know you were tied to that other person financially it could be that some of you guys could have met this person at work we have trust so it says this situation is calling for you to have faith and I see that with the the full reverse. That's somebody that is, you know, like, is just, like, has a lot of faith, not giving up. We have release your ex. So I feel like an ex was a problem. It says the time has come to clear your energy. So I feel like an ex was a problem for some of you guys. And that's, you know, what could have also pulled you guys apart. And we have retreat. And we have wedding. So somebody, it looks like somebody is going through a divorce or somebody is, like, you know, in separation, okay? So somebody could have been married. You could have been married, Cancer. This person could have been married. And somebody was just going through a separation. And somebody could have went back to somebody. And now somebody is finally releasing that person. That's what I'm getting. So let's pull a love message from um, them to you. And then from you to them. Message for Cancer. message for cancer all right so from then to you we have crazy someone is crazy in love or infatuated so this person is crazy in love with you or they're infatuated we have family your family and friends will support this connection okay so i feel like maybe you met their family and friends are are they're ready you know for you to meet their family and friends or maybe they just strongly feel like you know, when you meet their family and friends that they're going to approve of this connection or, you know, that their family and friends are going to like you. All right. So from you to them, Cancer, let's see what message you have for them. Let's see what message do you have for them? We have new love. Someone new is coming towards you. So this could have been the new love that was coming towards you, Cancer. And then we have stimulation. You are neglecting your body's sexual needs. So I feel like um, it could have just been a long time, Cancer. All right. Um, and maybe you're ready to just like, you know, start over, go towards new love, you know, enjoy them even sexually and just move forward. The overall energy is upgrade. So it says this person isn't like anyone you've ever met. So I feel like this would definitely be an upgrade for you, Cancer. Okay. So I feel like moving forward or being with this person, this is like an upgrade. All right. It's better than like, you know, your ex or your last relationship or whatever you were in. Let's pull a couple more cards from my what's really going on work with it. Let's see. Cancer. Message for cancer. Oh, let's see. So we have date night. So maybe you guys are going to be planning some type of date night. We have co-worker. Yeah, like I said, for some of you guys, this was a co-worker. And then look what's at the bottom. We have the X. So the X is still an issue or that's what you're, you know. 
um, releasing. We have revenge. So I feel like somebody wanted revenge or somebody wanted to give back at somebody for something that they did. But I feel like it turned into a relationship, like, or it turned into this. So, Cancer, if you were with this person, whoever you were with, like, you don't have to have been married to this person, but whoever you were with, maybe they did do something to you. You want a revenge. You probably could have connected with a coworker. They fell in love with you. They feel like you broke their heart. Now you're starting to see that it was, you know, something there between you and this person. That can also be it. Like I said, it could be interchangeable, though. Let's pull a couple more cards for Cancer. We have Thirsty. Then we have Rebound. So, not to say it like that, Cancer, but I just feel like somebody really wanted to get back at somebody for what they did to them. Or they, you know, like somebody was hurt. And I feel like with the Thirsty card, maybe you weren't thirsty, Cancer. Like I said, maybe you just really, you know, have wanted to you know, get them back with re re revenge and rebound. I don't feel like maybe you thought it was going to be that serious or you were going to like them that bad. Yeah, thirsty, we have the Ten of Cups and we have the Six of Swords and we have Temperance. Yeah, I feel like you were just maybe just going through something and you couldn't believe that someone came between your family situation. But it's like, even still, it's just saying like, with everything that went on, the revenge the rebound, the thirsty, whatever, it led you towards your ten of cups. And it's 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 taking you or it's leading you towards something that's much better anyway. And we have temperance here, something that is much better, more healing, something that will definitely work out, something that's a lot better than what you had already. So for some of you guys, it's like a blessing in this with the temperance card because it's like you're gonna you're still going towards that person or you guys are gonna reconnect, but then you're getting um like something better okay so you're going towards better all right so that is what i have for you cancer if it resonated please do like share comment subscribe and our follow if you guys love to book with me at fireintuition.com that is the only way you guys can book with me um that's it yeah the empress in the communication box are available on my online shop my tears i my heart.com i will put the link to the extended reading in the comments below it's also going to be in the description box as well. All right. Bye, Cancer.